step right into the condition of lateral knee pain. What it really is, how we can solve it. All right, first off, let's look at what bow leg is at the bone level when we strip away the muscles. We have the leg bone model here. And what we most commonly see is this kneecap turning away. I have the left side. So the kneecap will turn out towards the left and what causes this turn is the rotators up in the hip area let me grab my pelvis model so the hip external rotators which attaches here to the thigh bone once it goes into a concentric orientation means meaning it contracts shortens turns the femur or the thigh bone out now when this happens you get the presentation of a bow leg see how once this turns out it actually gets a bit more bow. So in order for us to get rid of this bow legged presentation, the first step is to actually let the kneecaps face forward. How we do that is by getting the pelvis, the external rotators in the pelvis to actually release so that we can get this turn. So we're going to make use of a foam roller, but it's very different from how people usually use it. So I'm going to show you, you're going to prop down onto the ground and lay on top of the roller and have the point just below your belt line on the roller Next, you're going to slide your top knee over the bottom knee and you should feel a good stretch in that bottom glute. What you want to feel for is also an inner thigh sensation that is higher up into the groin area. Now, just hang in there, chill and breathe. Allow all that tightness in the back of the hip to open up. I would suggest holding it for 6 to 8 long breaths. Melt into the roller with each subsequent exhale. Next, we're going to do something like a clamshell while still in this position. Keep weight on that bottom knee and don't allow the knee to come off the ground. This is a very important point. Open your hips up like so and coming back to the starting position with the top knee again in front of the bottom knee. Make sure they are parallel. So inhale as you're opening up, exhale as you're coming back down. Go for about 10 nice and controlled repetitions. You should feel a bit of light activation on that bottom glute. Now repeat for two sets each side. Next, we look at the knee joint. We have the thigh bone sitting directly over the shin bone. And if we zoom in a little closer, you can see that the thigh bone is rotated inwards, whereas the shin bone is rotated outwards. There is supposed to be less of a turn of the shin bone outwards. So in this case, it's a bit excessive. That's why normal knee mechanic cannot, cannot work well. As we bend, we are supposed to have the shin bone turning in. So it's starting off with an excessive turn. That's why it doesn't work well. So, and this is usually the source of pain for individuals. We're going to solve this by whipping out the foam roller again. Now, get into a somewhat prone position and have the shin on the foam roller directly. Now, you want it placed closer to the knee joint. It shouldn't be directly on the knee, but just slightly below it. This will allow knee mechanics to be restored as the foam roller pushes and compresses the shin bone back into a better position. Hold this position again and breathe. Go for 6 to 8 long breaths again with each exhale. Let the body melt into the roller. Repeat for 2 sets. Lastly, this is the part where we get onto our feet and start loading. We're going to do a lateral lunge. You might want to do this supported for a start. Holding a chair in front of you, that will help you take some load off. Remember, progressive loading is key. So if you feel pain or discomfort, regress, change that position. And it's important that you do this movement correctly. Most of the time, it's coached wrongly. Start with your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Now, as you shift your weight to one side, so in this case, it's my right side. You will need to think of putting your entire body over to that side. Use your nose as a reference point and move your nose directly over the foot of that side that you're moving to. So my right side. Also, make sure to stay slightly heavier on the inside of your foot. Don't let the inside part of your foot flip up. Hold this position for 5 seconds and move back to starting position. I would say go for 6 to 8 reps of a 5 second hold at the bottom. Do it for both sides. Repeat for 2 sets. Alright, let's recap. The first exercise is the one where you get down on the ground to decompress your hip with the roller. Make sure to place it directly under the belt line. The second exercise, place the roller directly under the shin to restore good knee position. Last one is the lateral lunge. Make sure to re-watch the video for cues mentioned to perform it correctly. One last tip, do the exercise in this sequence to get the most bang for your buck. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. If you know anyone who has outside knee pain and presents with a bow leg, make sure you share this video with them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe on your way out. Gary from Penultimate Performance, signing out.